So based on the force balance, you may have the droplet transferred in various modes. In most of the cases, the diameter of the droplet and the frequency of droplet transfer will be determined by which force is rate controlling. If gravity is rate controlling, droplet will be transferred with high mass like a globe, the volume will be higher. Okay? If a Lorentz force is rate controlling, you can transfer it to very small diameter and you can also droplet at much higher frequencies. Right? Why? Because melting rate. Okay? So, for example, you are melting for a given current, okay? where I is fixed, so you melt and if you are changing the current obviously you also change the melting rate. So, you are allowed to transfer more, is not it? So, melting rate is also increasing, you are creating more volume of liquid metal, okay? then that has to be transferred. right? So, you transfer it in this very small diameter droplets at much faster rate, it becomes spray. right? So, that is why you call it spray transfer when increasing current. So, the transfer mechanism would change from globular to ripple globular. So, what is ripple globular we will see in subsequent slides. So, when the, the mass is keeps on increasing and if the current is increased in this way, so you have globular and in this case ripple the globular mode, the globe is there, but it is the current is not sufficient to pull the droplet. So, you also generate local magnetic force inside the droplet because current is increasing. So, the globes becomes like a, a, a shoe of an, a buffoon in the, in the circuit. Okay? So, how does, how many have you seen circus in a real circus? So, the, the buffoon is there, right? He always wears a typical shoe. Okay? So, that is the shape of the, the droplet. So, when the current is increased slightly, but it is not sufficient to reach the critical uh, Lorentz force to droplet transfer, then he also generated locally slightly increased magnetic force that would change the shape of the droplet from globular to a uh, ripple to globular. Okay? Sometimes you can also observe in this video. So, you see that droplet when it transferred in some cases it becomes like this, you see that. Yeah, see this when exactly yeah, just before this frame. Yeah, I see this. It is globular, not really globular. Globular means you have circle. Okay? You see the, the droplet shape. Okay? So, in this case, the current is there, but it is not sufficient to pull the droplet something in this case. And because of uh, the increasing current compared to the, the initial globular transfer, you may also change the shape of the globes into such a shape. right? And then if you increase the current further, the globular transfer becomes spray transfer, when the Lorentz force supersedes the gravitational forces. And if you keep on increasing it, then you would also start melting more, the current is very high, you will start making a jetting spray, the spray velocity will be much higher. right? So, these four modes are commonly observed during GMAW welding, which is known as free flight. So, why is called free flight? Because the droplets are transferred from the tip to the, the work piece. There is no contact between the consumable and the, the well pool. In some cases, you also make a contact and then transfer the droplet by short circuit and that is a special case. So, these are the common modes of metal transfer observed in GMAW.
right? It's clear. The first mode is global transfer. So global transfer we observe at a very low current. Okay. So you, the the per transfer you transfer more volume of metal. Okay. The Doppler diameter will be very high. It happens in very low currents. Okay. So if your the the plasma jet velocity is quite low, current is low. The obviously transfers would only be assisted by the gravity. Right. So most of the commonly observed transfer happens with very low current. So generally, for 1.2 mm low carbon steel wire, if you're welding it on 50, 60 amperes and 70 amperes, the transfer will be most likely globular transfer. Okay, it's clear. And if you increase the client current slightly further, it becomes rippled. Okay, so the rippled action, the globular Shape changes to rippled globular because of increasing current. So there will be some Lorentz force generated, and that would change the the magnetic field inside the droplet, and it would change the shape of the droplet into a, a shoe of an, a, a buffoon and the a joker, and then the droplet after attaining critical mass, the gravity would pull it down. the video i showed you right it it's what happened so the current is now we are increasing from say globular transfer to ripple transfer and if you increase the current further you would see a change in the transfer mode okay so for example this graph i showed you drop volume as a function of current at lower current okay the frequency will be very low and diameter will be very high that's a global transfer right and if you increase the current doppler diameter decreases rippled and frequency also increases after a critical current the global transfer becomes spray transfer and that current is known as spray transfer current or spray transition current okay so it is very critical parameter in gmaw welding because if you want to maximize the productivity and you achieve a good aesthetic a good control stable transfer characteristics then you need to operate your welding current just above spray transition okay so you also melt more and you also have a very stable transfer you transfer more the diameter when it becomes more or less equal to the filler diameter okay so that's a thumb rule so when the droplet diameter becomes equal to the the filler diameter you can achieve a very stable transfer in spray mode so the current at which the doppler kinetics change from globular to spray is known as spray transition current so that's where you change the doppler diameter to smaller with very high transfer frequency that means that you transfer more volume of molten metal with smaller diameter and which is very beneficial because then your process characteristics for example the, the your feed rate or the the welding rate it increases because you you melt more so you can transfer more volume of metal to the workpiece and if you are transferring the smaller droplet you also reduce this spatter formation if you are transferring it to large droplet there is a possibility of droplet exploding that would cause spatter right but whereas if you are transferring in the smaller diameter you ensure that droplet reaches the workpiece in one intact so again the video you see that i showed you the the high speed video so you see that in this case you also see the the droplets are spraying isn't it it is exploding and causing a spatter whereas in the spray transfer you don't see that phenomena happens you see that you see now something is escaping 
in all the cases when it is happening you see this again droplet is flying away whereas in spatter so you see another spatter is going these are spatters you are wasting the droplet uh, the, the molten volume another one is going. So, in order to achieve the stable process conditions you need to reach such a state where your Doppler diameter in this case is smaller than your fill away diameter in spray transition is not it. So, the ideal situation is you need to operate just above spray transition current where your Doppler diameter will remain as equal to the fill away or smaller than fill away. Yes, it is clear. So, that is the current you know as spray transition current. So, ideally, so we should achieve for that current, the spray transition current, and in GMAW, it is always advisable to operate your welding just above spray transition, maybe a 5 amperes above the spray transition to ensure the stable metal transfer. So, I just listed some of the parameters organ 5 plus CO2, organ 15 plus CO2, 20 plus CO2 for varying filament diameter. So, what is the spray transition current? So, if you increase the diameter obviously the spray transition current also increases right it is clear. So, we can identify and then we choose the current based on the mode of transfer ok. So, we will look at the loss transfer. So, this is a steaming transfer it happens in very high current ok. Then uh, you already form a, a neck when the current is increased the Lorentz force is so high you may end up transferring droplet at much smaller diameter and you may also see uh, unmolten regions because the kinetics are so fast and you start forming a neck and transfer the droplet into much much smaller diameter and this is not an uh, uh, ideal case then there will be an instable neck formation which may lead to say some instability in the transfer. Right. So, it happens in very high spray transition and this is not advisable except if you are doing it uh, for a coating where you need to melt really really more it does not matter I do not care whether spatter forms or not ultimately even spatter forms it will go and stick somewhere else for welding it is bad for if you are doing it for cladding then it is very useful because you need to melt as much as possible to deposit right. So, we will wind up this.